Phasing out nuclear power is the dumbest thing the Germans have ever done. Each time I say this on Twitter, people come and tell me that Hitler did a few things that were even dumber. I disagree. Hitler wasn't dumb. He was evil. He knew full well what he was doing. I'm not at all sure the current German government knows what it's doing, and that isn't a good thing either. The German opposition to nuclear power is especially curious as our next door neighbors, the French and Dutch, have no hesitation to use nuclear power to its full potential. Indeed, companies in both countries recently teamed up to bring small thorium reactors to Europe. Let's have a look at what's new. The news is that two companies, Narea of France and Thorizon of the Netherlands, have signed a partnership agreement to work on thorium-fueled small nuclear reactors. Thorizon, as the name indicates, specializes in using thorium as nuclear fuel. Narea is already working on small nuclear reactors and they want to combine their technology with the thorium cores from the Dutch. In case you're wondering what their logo is supposed to show, that's a radish. Yes, a radish. Because as they explain on the website, the radish is a root vegetable that leaves no waste as the entire plant is edible. I looked it up and you know what? It turns out that radish leaves are indeed edible. I had no idea. Okay, but back to nuclear power. Small modular reactors have in recent years received a lot of attention. The idea is that rather than building one huge and expensive nuclear plant at location, you build smaller reactors that can then be transported to the place you want them. That they are modular means you can combine them to get a higher power output. Saying that they are small is maybe somewhat of an overstatement, not like you can put them into your pocket, but they're just about small enough to be put on a truck and be transported on the road. Small modular reactors have the potential to solve the two biggest problems of nuclear power at the moment, which is that building nuclear power plants is expensive and it takes a long time. Though if the small modular reactors will actually solve those problems, only time will tell. The two companies who have signed the new agreement say that they want to cater in particular to the industry, where such a reactor wouldn't be connected to the public electric grid. This makes a lot of sense, because that way they can be put to use even faster. Suppose you have some energy intensive process in the manufacturing industry. Just take the factory off the grid, plug it into a modular reactor and the carbon footprint goes down down dramatically, regardless of what the rest of the country does. You can also use the heat from the reactor directly rather than making electricity from it first, which improves efficiency. The two companies each produce somewhat different reactors though. Narea is working on what they call an extra small nuclear reactor that'll generate roughly 40 megawatts of electricity and they hope it'll be done by 2030. Thorizon is working on a reactor with roughly 100 megawatts that is targeted at larger industrial customers. They want to have a pilot system ready before 2035. If you like glowing blue and green lights but prefer them to be not be radioactive, check out Galaxy Lamps who have made this video possible. The Galaxy Lamps projector makes every room special. It instantly transforms the room into a colorful planetarium with a truly unique look and feel. But not only that, it's also a smart device. Let's look at some of of the features. First off, its RGB colors, brightness, rotation speed, on-off timers and many more are fully customizable. Grab your phone. With its app, you can change everything. Make it truly yours. Love using Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant? Well, the Galaxy projector is on your team. Just say the word and it obeys. From switching on to changing modes. Complete hands-free magic. And guess what? It's energy efficient too. Enjoy your personal Galaxy without worrying about your electricity bill skyrocketing. For those who appreciate good tech, this is for you. The Galaxy Projector is a modern gadget with what I'd call timeless appeal. Get your projector by clicking on the link below and use the discount code Sabine to get 15% off. But let's talk a little more about those thorium reactors. Almost all currently operating nuclear reactors run on uranium. The only exception is one reactor in China which runs on thorium, though there are a few small test reactors in the works and there are also some reactors like the Kandu reactors that can run on either thorium or uranium, though they all currently do run on uranium. Thorium has attracted attention in the past decades as an alternative nuclear fuel because in Earth's crust it's about 
three to four times more abundant than uranium. It also can't be as readily used for nuclear weapons, though if you make some effort, that's still possible. The real advantage of thorium reactors is, however, that they can use essentially the entire thorium, not just a small fraction of it, as it's the case with the normal uranium reactors. This, I assume, is why Narea has the reddish as a symbol, though maybe it means that their reactors will be red with green leaves on top, you never know. That the thorium can be used almost entirely means that the thorium reactors produce more energy from the same amount of fuel as uranium. As a consequence, thorium could last for thousands of years. Thorium is also a waste product of the rare earth mining industry, so trying to put it to good use is a good idea. The downside is that since there's currently no dedicated thorium mining, it might go into short supply quickly, so there are some commercial challenges ahead. The small nuclear thorium reactors work not with solid fuel rods, but with the fuel dissolved into a liquid salt. This is why they're called molten salt reactors. Modern molten salt reactors, as all newer reactors, come with passive safety features. This means that in the case of a loss of power, oxygen masks will drop out from the panel above your head. Just checking if you're listening. In the case of a loss of power, the nuclear fuel will be automatically dumped into a place where it'll cool rather than in earlier reactors go on to heat up and potentially cause the core to melt. That said, nuclear power is still dangerous and I fully understand that many people are opposed to the technology because of the risk. However, everything has risks and I think one also needs to take into account the risk of not using nuclear power because that means continuing to use other sources of energy which also have risks. Nuclear power technology has changed a lot in the past 50 years and I really think Germany is missing the bus by not investing into it. So in case you're from the German parliament, denkt nochmal drüber nach. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.